because they've been an amazing platform for a lot of actors to be able to have their face shown. Um, for me, myself, I'd like to thank uh, Steve Omar, uh, who gave me my first opportunity uh, to film from the Golden Hour. I'm very thankful for Star Now being able to provide diversity for a lot of actors that may not fit the mold, per se, to be the typical Kiwi look. So um, it provides an opportunity for a lot of uh, ethnicity. So diversity is the theme of the year, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Um, so I'd like to present to you um, the Star Now uh, Best Actor. So uh, in the categories, uh, we have uh, Jacqueline Joe for Cradle. Um, <laughs> we have Cohen Holloway for Feeder. And also we have Caitlin Wong for Wait. All right, guys, and a uh, little bit of a drum roll, please. And the winner for the Star Now Best Actor Award is Kayla Wong for Late. Congratulations, Caitlin. Uh, the judges' comments are Caitlin's performance is perfectly pitched. It is both raw and held, vulnerable and strong. She conveys the ache of the weight beautifully and is the emotional heart of the film. Well done! Thank you so much, this is such a meaningful acting experience and it's just so rare to be able to find a piece of work that just resonates so truthfully to me about growing up in New Zealand and just being a Chinese woman in New Zealand. So I thank you Yam and Tun for just your vision and your encouragement through the whole project and for um, just being such a talent and um, it's just an unforgettable experience working with you. Um, to Vicky Pope and Dan Higgins, um, the cast and crew, working so um, generously over two weekends, and um, yeah, it's just to make this happen. And finally, yeah, um, Show Me Shorts Film Festival, thank you. It's such a thrill. Yay! Yeah. Congratulations, let's have a look. about short films is that they're short. They're these little gems. They're powerful, they're moving, they're funny, they're incredibly entertaining. And if you have a short attention span, they're perfect. I can't believe that we are at 10 years. It's pretty exciting. In the first year, the festival only ran for three days. So now we're up to over 20 cinemas all around the country from Matakana to Stewart Island. Remember first not hearing about shiny shorts, but seeing this really bright pink poster. The logo is designed so that it looks like it's made of sections of gaffer tape all taped together. I thought that that was a feel that reminded you of, you know, what it takes to get a short film together. So we have documentaries, animation, later movies, sci-fi, pretty much everything that you could imagine. There's a certain point where it feels like, well, you can't stop now. I think New Zealand is, is uh, leaders in making short films. I've heard that um, we're second only to France in New Zealand's historical representation at the Cannes Film Festival in terms of short films. It's all about nurturing short film talent. They contribute to a community that thrives on supporting each other. That sort of sense of community spirit, I think, that just enables them to get made. The other major highlight along the way for us has been a few years ago when we got Academy Awards accreditation. You could win an Oscar. I mean, that has to be a good thing. We, we all love the idea of uh, all those Oscar people having to watch our dirty little film. You never know your luck in the big city. 
it's cool for New Zealanders to be able to to see New Zealand short film. Put us on a screen in front of an audience. It's quite important with films to sit in a group of people in a room and watch a film on a big screen. Every time I got programmed at Show Me Short, I thought there are people in New Zealand watching my film. You know, little messages from Twizel and Arrowtown, and um, yeah, that, that was really nice. Happy birthday, Show Me Shorts. Congratulations. What an amazing achievement. Thank you. Yeah, as short filmmakers, I don't know what we'd do without you. So much pleasure, laughter, tears, emotional resonance, epiphanies. What a great 10 years it's been. <laughs>